The 16S ribosomal gene is a highly conserved component of transcriptional machinery that's present in all DNA life forms. Since it's present in all DNA life forms, it's well suited as a target for gene sequencing um, in samples which can contain thousands of different species. Um, 16 rib 16S ribosomal gene sequencing is a technique that's used for identifying, classifying, and quantifying microbes in com complex biological mixtures. These can include environmental samples like water, soil, or air, or microbiome samples such as milk or feces. Conveniently, the 16S ribosomal RNA gene consists of both highly conserved and variable regions. Universal PCR primers can be designed to target the conserved regions of 16S, making it possible to amplify the gene in a wide range of different microorganisms from a single sample. While the conserved region makes universal amplification possible, subsequent sequencing of the variable regions allows discrimination between specific microorganisms such as bacteria, archaea, and microbial eukarya. LC Sciences offers a comprehensive 16S ribosomal RNA gene sequencing service for identification and classification of species and microbial samples. LC Sciences has developed a dual-zone amplification strategy, targeting the V3 and V4 variable regions. Sample barcoding enables multiplexing of hundreds of different samples in a single sequencing run, keeping per-sample costs low. Sequencing is performed on the industry-leading Illumina MySeq platform, and extensive data analysis is provided, including sequencing data output statistics, sequence clustering into operational taxonomic units, or OTUs, diversity, analysis, classification, and abundance analysis. An important distinction of LC Sciences service is that we perform the classification analysis on seven taxonomy levels, all the way down to species level. Species level ID is enabled through the curation of several genomic databases and advanced bioinformatics. An operational taxonomic unit, or OTU, is a measure of microbial diversity commonly used when performing 16S sequencing analysis. Sequence data is clustered into OTUs based on sequence similarity, and each OTU generally represents a distinct species. OTU Venn diagrams can be used to show the unique OTUs in different subsets of sample groups. Statistical analysis of OTU data also generates a species accumulation curve, which is a method to estimate the number of additional OTUs that may be discovered through further effort and can be an indication of adequacy or deficiency in number of samples analyzed, similar to power analysis. LC Science's comprehensive service includes both alpha and beta diversity analysis. Alpha diversity is a measurement of the variety of organisms that inhabit a defined region or habitat. LC Sciences calculates diversity based on the Shannon, Simpson, Chow 1, and observed species indices. The diversity among samples can be observed from the rarefaction curves of each sample, and the rank abundance curve indicates species abundance and uniformity. Beta diversity represents the explicit comparison of microbial or other communities based on their composition. Beta diversity metrics thus assess the differences between microbial communities. Clustering analysis of beta diversity data is performed to plot a phylogenetic tree and principal coordinates analysis is performed to visualize and explore similarities or dissimilarities of data. The taxonomic analysis is performed by mapping OTU representative tags to the RDP, Green Greens, and NCBI 16S microbial databases. Taxonomy results are displayed in the form of area charts, heat map, and phylogenetic trees. Note the heat maps are plotted on seven taxonomic levels, all the way down to species level. The phylogenetic trees show the phylogenesis among species. The tree is composed of nodes that represent taxonomic units from phylum through genus and branches that denote the phylogenetic relation between nodes. LC Science's comprehensive data report is presented in a user-friendly HTML format for easy visualization and interpretation of your experimental results.